court guys who are not as tall but pretty quick and athletic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they, uh, you, you know, obviously uh, Derek gave him a lot last year, and um, you know it's hard to make up for that kind of loss once you know once he goes away. But they've uh, they've done a lot. I think I think they're better than their record shows too. I mean, they're a good team. They've had a lot of close games that maybe they dropped, including that one you know with with Washington the other night. So um, they're going to be a tough team, and, and we know that. And they're obviously well coached and stuff too. They so. a difficult matchup with for David. Um, you know, D David's seen a lot of different looks this year, and uh, you know, as a freshman, it's a, you, you don't really know what, what's going to be the best matchup for him. But uh, I think this one may be a, a little different than he's used to, um, and we'll see how he does. I mean, I, I have confidence in him that he'll be able to adjust if he needs to. Um, but uh, you know, he's just going to have to pay attention, and it, definitely the scout this week will, will help him out with that. I think, and. Uh, you know, he's just got to give the effort, and that's that's all that matters. Harper, what are your impressions of uh, the Barons? What did you think of what he did the other night? I thought it was really good. I mean, that's something. That, I mean, that's just a little bit of what he's capable of. Um, that last night, I just liked. I liked how active he was. It seemed like he was always near the ball when it was coming off the rim, or uh, and defensively, you know, he was always, you, you know, either tipping it or grabbing a rebound and. Um, <clears throat> really paying attention defensively and was in the right position. You know, you saw him take the one charge, and um, you know he's a smart player. And then you, you know you add the, the energy that he came out with. You know, got that little fast break layup and got himself going. That was that was good to see. Mike said that that was some of what you guys saw him in Europe that he played a little bit like that. Yeah, uh, th that's you know, definitely he showed some of that in Europe. Um, and when he has that kind of that high activity level and he, he keeps his motor going like that. He uh, he can be really helpful on the floor. Art, what does it mean to you as a senior to be undefeated against Stanford on, on your home court? And how much juice does that give you guys going in the second half? Yeah, it it, it means a lot. Uh, you know, it's it's a really important rivalry for for all the fans here and, and the alumni, everyone who's ever been a part of it. Um, so so it's really it's nice to be a part of that and, and to to bring those wins here for the fans and, and everyone who cares so so much about that rivalry and. Um, it's, it means a lot to me now too, um, after being here for for this many years. So, uh, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so, yeah, um, it, it means a lot, and, and it's an honor to be a part of that. Is, is it important for you guys to continue to, to win at home, given the way the standings are and how close the league is? Yeah, uh, at this point, we, we see we, we have to win everywhere, not just at home. Uh, you know, you, you see, you, you never know what's going to happen um, with. With Pac-12 teams and uh, Washington, show that they can get wins on the road, and uh, you know they're they're right there with us. So it's uh, it's going to be tough. We have to come out with the the same activity level energy we have at home. We got to bring that on the road as well. But uh, it'll start this weekend with protecting home court like once again. You think a, a seven and two result in the second half of the season would put you in good stead for the regular season title? Is that something you think you can duplicate? Um, yeah, I mean, I, I think I think that would keep us in, in good standing. Obviously, um, you know, I, I want to win every one of th th these games coming up, and I, I think that we're capable of that. But that takes a tremendous amount of focus, um, and we'll, we'll see. We, we've got to take it one game at a time, starting at home. Uh, we know we can we can win at home, and then uh, just find a way to win on the road. Just keep ourselves in games and, and try and win a, at the end of games. I think that's what matters. Mike, uh, or Harper, Mike said that you have you know, taken a little bit more time off to rest your knee and, and decided to rather work, kind of work and work and that maybe that was going to be helpful to you. Mm -hmm. Talk about that a little bit, what you've been doing. Yeah, I mean, this the last week, um, you know, knowing we only had one game, <laughs> usually my approach is to try and get as much possible work in, um, you know, twice a day, get shots up, all that kind of stuff, um, you know, through the whole week, knowing that, you know, I have, I, I don't have, I only have one game and I'll have the chance to get a lot of work in, but um, I, I decided like the first half of the week just to try and just rest the knee and, and just practice and, and do what I needed to do uh, for the team and things like that, but kind of hold off a little bit with the extra stuff until later in the week. Um, and I think that helped, you know, my knee helped, helped me just stay a little more fresh. Uh, so I think it, it ended up helping me. And then you sort of in business as usual this season? Yeah, uh, it, it's felt good. And, you know, I've had to, I, I don't think, I, I didn't have as much time to prepare for this season. So there's been a little bit, 
you know, a little bit of different uh, changes in my routine and things like that. And what I work on when I'm working by myself, you know, trying to be efficient and, and get the most out of it. So earlier in the season, you weren't happy with your offensive role or your offensive production. Mm -hmm. uh, how are you now with that part of your game? You know, I, I think I just, uh, I, I mean, I'm happy now, but uh, I think the key was just to relax and, and just focus on winning games and not worry about um, offensive production and things like that, knowing that my team would need that down the stretch, but just continue doing the extra work, uh, putting in time, getting up shots, things like that, and knowing that eventually that, w that would come and just kind of have faith in that. and. Uh, no, just patience, I think, was the key there. So. Harper, these guys won two tight ones against you last year in the mm -hmm. overtime one. Is that something that left a bad taste in your mouth and you know, gives you a little extra motivation for Thursday? Absolutely. Uh, I was, <laughs> you know, both really close games. The triple overtime here was, um, you know, that, that really hurt to lose that game after playing 55 minutes. I mean, that was a heartbreaker. So, um, Got to have, got to have this one on Thursday, and it's uh, it, get this bitter taste out of my mouth. I think that game hurt you guys in a long run last year. Did it take a lot out of you. Um, you, you know, I I don't think physically it took a lot out of us. I, I think it, uh, you know, I think I think me mentally more maybe just knowing that we were right there and we could have had that win that just um, that that hurt a lot. I think if we would have got that win. It would have gave us um, a real big emotional boost, and uh, uh, I think it, it might have helped a little more.